No, I'm very pleased. Uh, we beat a very good team. Uh, I think they're going to win a lot of games this year. They're very talented. They're, they're hard to play against because of the, their speed and aggressiveness and talent. Um, obviously, Laurie is going to be unbelievably good. And we, we know, we've known him as a South Jersey kid for years, and they've gotten him in great shape. And uh, he, his stat line's amazing for a first game against a good team on the road. So we, we feel good that not only do we beat a good team, but we, we beat a good team that uh, um, you know just had a major addition. Of course, you could say the same thing about us with Tyrone having a great game. So I think these are two teams heading the right way, and uh, uh, and that's why I feel so good about coming away with the victory. John, could you talk about uh, Tyrone? He had a rough first half, but he stayed with it. His teammates kept it. It's hard running. to come in in mid-year, and their scouting report on him was that they played 50 feet off him. I mean, they let him shoot every time. And that's a very uncomfortable position for a player to be in. You're just out of rhythm. You just can't believe you're so open. And when you combine that with the fact that it's his first game in goal arena ever, I just think he wasn't that comfortable. He got more comfortable in the second half. But what he really benefited from in the second half was his ability to move without the ball. He got a lot of layups. And that's basketball IQ. That's knowing when your man's head is turned. And the other guy who I thought played the best half I've ever seen him play it was Ramon Galloway in the second half. He didn't score. First half, he scored. Second half, he took what the defense gave us. He played defense. He gave us leadership. He, he, he had a great assist to turnover ratio. I think he, he was the guy who found Tyrone an awful lot. Um, you know, if, if the only way you could help your team is scoring, your, your team is... Uh, um, I, I think that's not a good formula for teams. When, when you're leading score, when that's all he does is score, not good. Okay, today our, our leading score passed, defended, and and led, and I, I thought it was his his best game as a basketball player what was him in the second half there. John, considering Tyrone's back in the fold, I know you played smaller to adjust to Iona. Do you think you might do it more frequently down? Well, we did last year too. Yeah. I mean, I, I just think that we're we're going to have. Uh, um, a rotation and Tyrone will be a part of it, but Zach and Jarrell are going to play a lot, and we'll, we'll still start them together. You know, so and, and a lot of that is just your feel for how the game goes. Uh, certainly, our last game we got crushed by playing small with Tyrone in there. I mean, Wilbur and Muscala really, really hurt us. It was kind of like um, uh, Lowry times two. <laughs> you could imagine that. That's not good. Uh, so you know, if it works, we'll do it, and if we need to play big, we'll do that. John, with the pace in the first half being so frenetic, what is it like for you as a coach to sit there and analyze? Well, we have fast players, so I don't mind it. Uh, actually, the part that I became uncomfortable with was early in the second half where uh, we would have the ball and I mean, they, they were letting us shoot. I mean, they were letting us shoot wide open shots, but it might have been a two on four or a three on five, but it, it's hard to tell good players not to shoot. But I think we, we missed like four or five quick threes but they were so open, and they were just kind of tempting us into their pace. Uh, and what we said is, listen, we'll take quick layups, but not quick threes. And at that point, we, we, we started to play a lot better. John, it, it seemed like uh, they, they got fatigued in the second half, and, and you didn't. They, they missed a lot of open shots yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully our defense had a little bit to do with that. But uh, you know, ha having a deep team and having guys in shape and having guys who can play hard and – and, uh, and we had some guys asked to be taken out of the game. I think so highly when a player does that because what that tells me is he's given his all and he needs a break and he's not going to selfish, be selfish and keep himself out there when he's not 100%. So, um, you know, I, I'm pleased that we, we, we kept playing hard and that we were able to sub and we had a lot of people contribute. Coach, what does Tyrone do differently than the other guards on your team? Well, everyone's a little bit different. But the commonality is they can all defend – dribble, pass, and shoot. That's the commonality. Uh, Tyrone's strength is he's probably the fastest of the bunch. And he might move without the ball the best of everybody. Um, but he, he also might be the most laid back right now. You know, and, and that's why I was pleased tonight. He did not let up on defense. Uh, he maintained his intensity. Uh, the, the only question I've ever heard about Tyrone Garland is his motor. Just you know, being a little too laid back. And he'll be the first to tell you that. And uh, uh, 
Uh, and, and that did not show at all today. He played hard the whole time. He moved great without the ball. He did a good job defensively. So I was really pleased with him.